Hello, my name is Blake Patterson, and welcome to Afro Reviews. On today's episode, I examine Come On, Come On. Mike Mills's Come On, Come On is like a family drama from the late 70s or early 80s. In 2021, the film feels surprising and welcome because few modern movies deal with humans humanely. The movies are either about humans at their worst or immortals with gadgets and powers. In this sense, Come On, Come On is a satisfying relief. Come On, Come On comes to us with open arms, but it never tells viewers how to feel. The film is warm without being cloying, and honest without being smug. Part of the movie's success is how it sensitively understands the bond between an uncle and his nephew. Joaquin Phoenix's Johnny is a radio journalist who interviews children about the future, yet he does not have a relationship with his nephew. This is an irony one would expect to find in a comedy with Hugh Grant, yet Come On, Come On is more genuine than this characterization. Through varying circumstances concerning the mother and father, Woody Norman's Jesse becomes a part of Johnny's experience. As the motion picture unfolds, the two characters learn from each other through Johnny's lessons and Jesse's internal conflicts. Mills recognizes the emotional complications of watching and caring for a child. The situation can be wonderful, frustrating, and sad for the caregiver and child. Mills remarkably captures the overflowing mixture of emotions through this bond, and he earns each moment gracefully. In some ways, this movie features Joaquin Phoenix's best work because it does not require him to be over the top. I think we often undermine how subtlety can bring more layers to a performance than a showy one. Woody Norman is the most wonderful discovery since Brooklyn Prince in The Florida Project. Norman's performance is wise and affecting, and he is one of the few occasions where I can say that this is not another kid who is a product of Disney Channel Syndrome. While she is mostly on the phone, Gabby Hoffman is superb as the mother who worries about the people around her and faces the daily conflicts of motherhood. In a few scenes, Mills gives mothers the respect they deserve when it concerns the limitations society places on them. Aesthetically speaking, Mills fluidly executes this narrative in lush black and white. Someone may dismiss this choice as a gimmick, but it expresses the universality of the piece. Mills's attention to locations like New York City and Los Angeles is remarkable in how he displays their differences through shots of buildings, sidewalks, etc. There are even times when Mills will include a subtitle to enhance or comment on a matter. On a side note, I want to mention how distinct and lovely the score by Aaron and Bryce Desner is. Most movies today have stock music or loud noise, but the Desners provide this kind of nostalgic mood as if audiences are watching memories unfold. It is quite fitting for the themes in this movie. I could comment on how the Academy will probably ignore this movie because it is not heavy or have a message. However, they do not matter when it comes to the reception of a movie. By combining interviews and personal experiences, Mills creates a richly marvelous work of human feeling. Come On, Come On is an inward look at the human soul, and it rejects any possibility of nihilism. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great night.